Well, I'm trying something a little new uh, this time because uh, in order to prove that once a social justice warrior uh, gets his, or in this case her, um, teeth into you, there's no backing down, there's no letting go, there's no readjustment of um, uh, opinions, uh, the goalposts just move a bit. So um, I, I'm going to read uh, from a, an article from the New Statesman, um, dated UK the 10th of October, uh, and it's uh, from uh, somebody called Charlie Brinkhurst Cuff, uh, who's written an article about the, uh, the Dove Soap, the big Dove Soap controversy. For those of you who uh, haven't been keeping up with this, what happened was Dove uh, ran an advert in which, uh, well, actually there were seven women to start with, but it was cut down to a GIF for Facebook and it was three women. And it showed a, a black woman lifting her T-shirt off. And as she, as the T-shirt went past her face, it changed. And then there was a white woman. And then that white woman lifted her T-shirt. And there was a, 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 a Latina woman, woman or an Indian woman, something like that, one assumes. And then the whole thing started again. Uh, and it was supposed to prove that Dove soap is uh, good for any skin type. Uh, so uh, what happened was some evil bastard uh, took that gif, just showed the black woman uh, lifting her shirt to reveal a white woman and then said, look, Dove is saying that if you use their soap, you can make a black woman into a white woman. Racism, racism. Um, and, uh, and that's gone round even People I would have considered intelligent have been posting this on their Facebook pages saying is this is this is truly awful, terrible, terrible racism. Uh, but and then having uh, and, and, you know, jaw dropping racism. And then I say, here, look, this is what it was really like. Uh, some of them had changed their minds and some of them have kept embarrassedly quiet. Um, anyway, that's the story. But uh, Charlie Brinkhurst Cuff isn't going to um, isn't going to have any of that. So this is what she says. Context is important, and it is something that. Oh no no sorry uh, no. Headline first. No, having an Asian woman in the Dove ad does not make it less racist. Okay, so you Asian women, you should know, you don't make anything less racist. Isn't that racist? OK, uh, the inclusion of an Asian woman does not erase centuries of white supremacy. So that should tell you all where Charlie Brinker's cuff is coming from. All right. Now, this is the article. Oh, and it's also proof, I suppose, that uh, you can have somebody who can string a sentence together coherently and well and still be an idiot. All right. Context is important, and it is something that has been a little missing from the debate around Dove's latest advert. Since screenshots surfaced showing a black woman stripping off her T-shirt to reveal a white woman, a backlash against the company has ensued. Only because people of ill will have done that. Uh, that's my comment. But now another part of the advert is circulating. Ah, so... Cooler heads might prevail. Not a bit of it. It shows the white woman stripping off to reveal an Asian woman. Defenders of Dove argue that it cannot be racist because the full context of the advert means that white women aren't positioned above women of colour. If anything, these commentators claim the advert is trying to be inclusive, as it is. Uh, it is true that if this version of the advert had been shared from the very beginning, the response may not have been as swift and sharp as it was. Now, can you think why the whole thing wasn't shared? Is there any idea about this? Because I've got an idea. Evil bastards. That's what it is. Anyway, uh, 
what went round was a version that was cropped deliberately to make Dove look bad. Um, back to, uh, what's her name, uh, Cuff thingy, uh, Brinkhurst Cuff. Okay, now what's next? There was also apparently a second longer advert, a 30 second TV commercial which showed seven women um, uh, the black woman in, in it, Lola Ogunyemi, has said that she had a positive experience with the Dove team and that she believes that the objective of the ad was to highlight that all skin is deserving of gentleness. But that doesn't mean the original concerns aren't valid. But they weren't concerns, were they, um, Chris, Charlie... Cuff. I can't remember your name. Brinkhurst Cuff. Uh, that version sparked not concerns. Uh, it sparked a full-scale witch hunt. Um, and then she continues. Intent isn't always important when it comes to racism. Yes, it is. It bloody is. Intent is everything. The advert is not active racism. What? I.e. the black woman in it isn't being literally harmed because of her skin colour and the explicit goal of the advert is not to maintain the system of racism. Well, I'm glad you agree with that, uh, Brinkhurst Cuff, Ms, Mr, whatever. But it is definitely passive racism an action which contributes to the maintenance of racism. Have you noticed how many times she's using this word racism, like it's sort of a drill going into your head? Uh, contributes to the maintenance of racism without openly advocating violence or oppression. So what's wrong? No violence, no oppression. I'll tell you what, there's some violence coming from here. Uh, even including an Asian woman in the video. Now, are you, have you noticed how she's going for Asian women here? This Brinkhurst cuff. I'm assuming, even though the name is Charlie, it's a woman. Maybe I'm being sexist here. Um, even including an Asian woman in the video does not counter the fact that the deep-rooted beauty industry-led systems which negatively position black women are at play. Oh. So first of all, we're into microaggression territory, are we? Um, OK, and here it comes. For years and years, black women have been told our skin colour is unclean, dirty, something to be fixed, a solvable problem. It could be predicted that black women watching the advert would pick up on an insinuation that by using Dove's shower gel product, you can rectify your skin tone. So what you're saying, dearie, is that any advert for soap featuring a black woman is racist. Yeah, is that what you're saying? If you have a soap advert of whatever description, and there's a black woman advertising it. It's saying that a black woman is dirty and needs the soap to make herself white. Because that's what you're saying there. And then uh, she continues. The Asian woman is, of course, much fairer than the black model at the start of the ad. Now, that's a surprise, isn't it? Uh, that message of going from dark to light, from unclean to clean, still feels like a subconscious message. Well, feels is not reals, uh, Brinkhurst cuff, miss. You, you know, if you have a psychological problem with your skin colour, if you happen to be black, then you've got a psychological problem. That's not Dove's responsibility. It could also be a, a subconscious message that you are a total nutcase, obsessed by race. Just saying. Uh, now, a Brinkhurst cuff again. As recently as 2011, a Dove advert for a cream to treat dry skin positioned a black woman as the before picture uh, to a white woman's after. Actually, no, it didn't. I looked the advert up because it does sound bad. It showed a background 
uh, a black woman, a Latino or Asian woman of some sort, and a white woman. And it showed a, a background of cracked skin turning into uh, smooth skin. Now, you might say that they, they might have thought it could have gone the other way round, but it's quite obvious that they weren't intending any harm with that. When she was a child, Chris thingy again, when she was a child, no, it's not Chris, Brinkhurst Cuff, got it. When she was a child, a black friend of mine was maliciously bullied at her boarding school in the UK by her teacher and told she needed to go and take another shower because she still looked dirty. That is awful. That is something that happens. That has nothing to do with a Dove advert. I had a teacher who called me a dirty Jew. I still don't see a soap advert as an anti-Semitic campaign. You get other kids who are, um, or who are picked on for being other things. And they don't see advertising campaigns as therefore picking directly on them. Uh, intent from Dove doesn't matter all that much. Yes, it bloody does, you idiot. Uh, considering their actions were still harmful. Only to nutcases. And backed up a bunch of messaging and racism that has actively worked against black women for centuries. May I point out to you... Um, Brinkley Cuff, Ms. That women of whatever colour have been the butt of men's psychoses, projections and insecurities for centuries. That is one of the disadvantages of being women. There are advantages. But men have constantly projected things onto women. It doesn't matter what colour they are. Uh, so you could say that any body lotion ad featuring women is a lot of men telling all women they need to be cleaner and softer. You could look at it like that. So it's a microaggression against being a woman. I mean, where does it stop? Indeed, the idea of soap cleaning away black women's skin to reveal lighter skinned women beneath uh, hits very close to home when you look at both historic and more recent adverts for skin lightening products. Skin lightening products are dreadful things. This is not one of them, so it isn't part of this argument. Dove itself has a whitening deodorant aimed at women of colour. Now, does it? Does it now? I looked that up as well. I've looked up this uh, lightening uh, deodorant and it says it's aimed at women whose underarms have darkened because of plucking and shaving. It doesn't say anything about women of colour. And I'm assuming it's a mild bleach. And what happens when you shave? I mean, men know this. You get a stubble and the stubble is dark. And, uh, and if you've got a light skin and darkish hair, then it's going to show up. And that's what it's aimed at. It's actually not aimed at women of colour. It's aimed at light-skinned women who have dark hair. Um, and in, if I had a darker skin, I certainly wouldn't want my underarms, of all things, to look lighter than the rest of me. Think, woman, think. Uh, back to her. And Unilever, the company that owns Dove, owns a skin lightening brand. Yeah, OK. Unilever may own it. Dove doesn't. That's the first thing. This is a Dove advert. Concentrate, woman. Keep your eye on the ball. And if Unilever does, I would criticise that. But that doesn't have anything to do with the Dove advert, does it? OK, uh, I'm missing out a paragraph here. It's not uh, relevant. OK, now. Fair and Lovely was established by Unilever in 1975 in India 
And before you say that skin lightening is similar to tanning lotion, it's not. Skin lightening is deeply mired in some of the worst racist ideologies in the world. Its success is rooted in the creation of low self-esteem and lack of worth felt by darker skinned people. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. It's rooted in Indian ideas that are Indian ideas that a lighter skin is prettier and higher status. And that's because in India, as in any predominantly agricultural society, which has a high proportion of subsistence farmers, the lighter the skin, the higher the status of the woman, because it means she isn't out there working in the fields. Chinese women who rode horses, Japanese women who rode horses to go on journeys, wore veils simply because they wanted to keep their skin light. The samurai women did that so they wouldn't be confused with the peasant women who were out there pulling rice out of soggy fields uh, 12 hours a day. It's nothing to do with racism. It's to do with cultural expectations. It's been like that over the world for centuries. In Nigeria, where the sun beats heavy and pretty much all of the population is naturally dark skinned, 2013 figures from the World Health Organization showed 77% of the female population uses skin lightening creams. And it happens in the UK too. Illegal lighteners, not made by Dove, I'm assuming, which can permanently damage the skin, lead to kidney failure uh, or mercury poisoning, are sometimes used alongside brands like Fair and Lovely for maximum effect. But that's a cultural thing. It's dangerous. It should be made illegal. Well, it is illegal. It should be enforced. It should be checked, but it's nothing to do with Dove. Nothing whatsoever. Skin lightening is pernicious. Yes, it is, but it's nothing to do with Dove. Because it's true that in Western society and beyond, it's easier to be lighter skinned. Ah, mm. well, that's what you say. You'll benefit from being viewed as more beautiful, having better job prospects and, in the US, facing shorter prison sentences. This is complete nonsense. It's proved to be complete nonsense. I don't need to start doing statistics with you now. There are more black people in America, unfortunately, because more of them are committing more crimes. And that's the end of it. To keep their business, we're back to uh, Brinkham thingy, to keep their, I'm terrible with names, I'm sorry. To keep their business, beauty brands who make them help to, f oh, sorry, sorry, I've got to read that. To keep their business, beauty brands who make them help to further embed these realities. No, they are companies who are selling things. They will sell things to people if people want to buy them. That's just an unfortunate byproduct of society. OK, uh, make them help to further embed these realities, shitting on millions of people and making them feel as though their natural skin colour is not good enough, not light enough, not bright enough. You know what? Nearly every beauty brand I see shows a woman who is in her teens or her early 20s. Are they shitting on me for being old? Well, yeah, probably they are because they're trying to sell stuff and they're trying to make me think that that stuff is going to make me look more youthful, more brighter and uh, maybe even more employable. Well, that's just the way commercialism works. And if I want to be taken in by that rubbish, then that's my responsibility for being an idiot like you are. OK. So, uh, Chris thingy again. No, why do I keep saying Chris? Brinkham cuff. So, the next time a probably white, oh, so no racism there then, person brings up the fact that this fuss over the Dove, Dove advert has been a mountain out of a molehill, as it has, just remind them, and she's, in, she's giving you all the instructions now, that while the advert didn't stop a black woman stripping off to reveal a white woman, nor did it come out of a vacuum. 
What? It traces back to years of discomfort black women have with their skin tones thanks to whiteness being the dominant beauty standard. OK, let's start. Whiteness was the dominant beauty standard because beauty products were made in these countries where, well, more white people lived. One. Two. Black people can make their own standard if they want. If they fall for thinking being white makes them more beautiful, then that's their problem. Uh, and it's not the problem of white people. Uh, just get a life and take control of your own beauty and stop blaming white people for your own sensitivities and insecurities. We're not being sensitive. Yes, you are. Dove made a mistake and they most definitely should pay in profits. The only mistake Dove made was to try to be inclusive by the looks of things. In the meantime, we should be looking into more ways to halt the sale of skin lightening creams, illegal or not. Yes, you're right. But you're not going to do it by criticising Dove for a perfectly reasonable advert for body lotion, which has nothing to do with skin lighteners. And, and Unilever sells skin lightening creams because there's a market for them. And they're in the business of selling. When the countries in which they sell a toxic product, if it is toxic, uh, makes the, if, if these countries make these products illegal, they won't sell them anymore. So it's not to do with Dove, it's to do with the legi local legislation. The New Statesman also has an agenda to sell, uh, like this toxic little article, for instance. <sighs> OK, and then they say Charlie Brinkhurst Cuff is a freelance journalist and opinions editor of Gal Dem magazine. Well, oh dear. Why are people like that? I'm sorry this has been so long. I hope it hasn't been boring. <laughs>